There are more than 8,000 rivers in Canada, so citizens are well acquainted with all the natural wonders they provide. In the heart of British Columbia, however, lies a river, the Fraser River, that is set apart for one slightly unsettling reason. The Fraser River is infamous for being home to some of the largest sea creatures ever discovered. That's right, huge, hulking things that could probably beat Liam Neeson in a fight, if only they had legs. We certainly wouldn't want to swim there and risk the chance of something slimy brushing against a leg or nibbling a toe, but that doesn't mean that plenty of people don't get enjoyment out of it. Fraser is a highly popular fishing spot. In fact, in 2016, Jeff Grimmelson, a lifelong fisherman, founded a group dedicated to providing tours of the famous river. Fittingly, he named it River Monster Adventures. This group doesn't just operate for fun, though. It plays a crucial role in helping local conservancies sustain populations of sturgeon who call the churning waters their home. After catching the monumental fish, they tag them and send them back. For obvious reasons, this site has attracted tourists from far and wide, and in 2019, a British couple decided to travel there on vacation. Their names were Margaret and Michael Snell, and they had no idea what awaited them. The lovebirds were relaxing on the boat, idly watching for an unsuspecting fish to come swimming along, when they felt their line being tugged by something with an extreme amount of force. After an ensuing struggle, the couple's catch emerged from the murky waters and they could hardly believe their eyes. The huge fish was an astounding 12 feet long. They'd broken a world record. Two years later, the Fraser River would yet again produce something that startled visitors. It was Father's Day, and Paul Jarvis decided to take his father, Ron, on a special trip to the famed fishing spot. After hours of inactivity, the line suddenly jerked, and Paul struggled to get control of whatever beast was on the other end of it. I'm a big guy, but I couldn't even hold the rod, he exclaimed. After all was said and done, they'd pulled a truly massive find. The sturgeon they caught weighed a formidable 900 pounds. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. The same as an average size adult male polar bear. No wonder it was such a challenge. Although these catches were no doubt impressive, Fraser River's strangest secret by far had yet to be found. It lay in wait, lurking beneath the opaque surface, just daring someone to pull it in. Enter Nick Maccabee. It was the summer of 2020, and the teenager had taken a job as guide at River Monster Adventures. He had the whole summer ahead of him, and he was excited to get to work. Things had been going smoothly. Maccabee was a natural at the job. One fateful day, he took the boat out with a couple of friends. Unfortunately, things had been pretty slow, and so far they hadn't caught anything noteworthy. The group of fishermen headed to one last spot for the day, reluctantly preparing to go home empty-handed. Little did they know, they would soon encounter something extraordinary. Suddenly, amidst the placid surface of the river, Maccabee spotted something that was undeniably huge. He set his sights on it, and they began to trail it in the boat, breaths held in anticipation. Maccabee later recounted the first moment he knew he was in for something special. The fish jumped right out of the river, and I said, well, that looks like a 10-footer, so strap on, we're going to be into at least a two-hour fight. Ultimately, the intense struggle took even longer, a full two hours and 15 minutes. Whatever this was, it possessed ungodly strength, and the fight was exasperated by Maccabee's preference for short lines. Soon, everything would start to make sense. Finally, after hours of physical and mental endurance on the part of Maccabee and his pals, the group were able to reel in their monster of a catch. What they saw when it emerged shocked them to their very cores. This was no normal sturgeon. It looked more like a monster than a fish. Its snout was strangely shaped, resembling none other than a pig's snout. They'd soon learn that this fish was in fact notorious. Maccabee was quickly informed that he'd caught a local legend, and he even had a name, Pignose. Pignose wasn't born looking the way he did, though. Tragedy had befallen the odd-looking sea creature. That's right, 
40 years earlier, something or someone had injured Pig Nose. Luckily, the unusual animal was able to survive his wounds. However, when they healed, he was permanently deformed, left looking more like a barnyard animal than a river dweller. 40 years ago, that's a long time. However, it only represents half of Pig Nose's long and storied existence, for the animal is believed to be at least 80 years old. And at 10 feet and 650 pounds, he's still growing. Young but precocious, Nick McAbee was the first fisherman to ever catch the elusive creature. To celebrate the milestone, the two took an adoring picture together, man and fish, no longer foes but friends. Maccabee had thought that all the local buzz around Pignose's historic catch was finally starting to die down. However, a year after the legendary incident, something incredibly strange happened. While cruising the waters one hot summer day, Maccabee spotted something, large, lurking beneath the depths. An hour later, he had done it again. He caught Pignose. (laughs) <laughs> After this huge coincidence, Maccabee started to develop a feeling of special intimacy with a gentle creature. He might not be the largest fish in the river, but he is very special fish for us, he said. Of course, Fraser River doesn't hold the world's monopoly on strange and incredible creatures of the deep. In fact, pretty much wherever there's water, you can expect to find some brave soul searching for a monster of their own. Sometimes what they find is even stranger than anticipated. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.